have to go get you some treats, don't I? Yeah. Did we kill? Oh, here's Abdullah. Hi. Ah, so you're getting along really well with Leo now. No problems. So, yep. Nobody's being mean. Everybody's totally accepted her. I don't think I have to worry. I think there's a little girl here who wouldn't mind having a treaty. Okay, I think we'll go get a treat. A little later on, I'll have to let you guys run around on the desk. But right now, I'll just give you guys some treats. Yeah. Now, once we put Enola with her other little crew for an hour or so, I think I'll let you guys run around on the uh, big art table. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you guys are getting along really well. Very pleased. Very pleased. Yeah, they are. I did put our treats. Now, Enola's a funny little mouse. Treats don't mean very much to her. Which is very unusual with mice, because mostly they are highly food motivated. But not an Ola. She's a little original. There we go. I'll come a little later on and I'll let the two Ulsters have a bit of free run and put an Ola in with her family for an hour or so. There we go. So they're all good. This little group. Let's go see if um, Glory had a litter. So let's see. We've got we got Storm in there. Anybody who be sleeping? Well, the best way to get everybody to get up is to get some treats. But I think right now, I wonder this is where everybody is. Let's see if there's any babies. I don't hear any babies. Just left everything. A lot of little mouses in here. Uh oh. Yep, we have babies. We have babies. I love the sound of baby mice. Yep, there they are. Let me just go get one. Oh, we have little babies. Let's go grab one. This is what a newborn baby mouse looks like. I have to go record them in my books. And we have a little black eyed baby. The only thing you can tell really at this age is if they're going to have black eyes or pink eyes. Can't really tell gender and certainly can't really tell colour yet. You have to wait about three days for that. So, healthy little newborn baby mouse. Very tiny. And I'm sure if I just have put my hand down like that, somebody will come and put her back in with the nest. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Let's go get this little girl, got a little holster here. She loves babies. Let's see what she does. Sometimes when they get really old, they start losing interest in babies. But yeah, She's too old to hold babies. Nice, healthy little milk band. Doesn't look like anybody's going to come and hold this little one back, so I'll have to put, her, put him and her or her back. Oh, hello. Here's Mum. Slim again. Beautiful and healthy. I wonder if she'll pick up her. She'll be a bit tired after all that giving birth. Looking for me. There's Mum. Get her. Ah, hey. Let's see, just put her back. Babies are a big magnet for mice. They love, love, love babies. So everybody is very content and very happy. And she's slim again and she's beautiful and healthy. No problems with her giving birth. This is why you need to have it that they know older than five months when they have their first litter. And you end up with no issues. It's a healthy, happy little mouse. She's going to be an awesome mom. And all these guys are going to be awesome aunties. And I'm pretty sure Midas is in there somewhere as well. He'll be a great uncle. He always is. That looks like. They've got a happy little family. They nothing quite like having babies. <laughs> having babies always elevates the mother's status as well, so. Lori will be feeling mighty proud of herself. 
Lovely bells in there. All experienced mouse mums. And I'm pretty sure. Oh no, here's Midas. Midas! Let's go check on little Midas. Hi. How are you doing, Midas? Yeah. You want to go and help out with the babies? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite thing to do? You've got kind of large and old age. Look at you. You look like you're pregnant. You do, don't you? Look like you're pregnant. Oh, hi, Rihanna. Oh, little girl's getting a little on the old side. Oh. Exciting though to have babies. Babies are always very exciting. Let's listen to little sounds. Baby mice are just like baby humans, very, very noisy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get little Enola. Have her join this group for a little bit. And she'll get to experience what her motherhood is like a little bit. Because she's going to be my next one that I breed, but that'll be in a few months' time. I only want to breed three times a week, uh, three times a year, if I can help it. I don't end up with too many mice. Oh. Oh. And the neat thing about mice is if I have little Enola visit uh, her old troop once a day, they won't forget her. She'll keep whatever status she had in her um, in the hierarchy without much fighting. And you can have the best of both worlds. So this way I can keep her bonded to this troop because eventually I would like to put her back in with them when she matures a little. And, um, but she still keeps the bond with her, uh, the little elderly couple I have her in with right now. So she can have the best of both worlds. So I think I'm going to put the barrier up and let her socialize with everybody. And I think it will work quite well. And then hopefully she'll also get to see the babies and learn a little bit about how to care for babies so that she's a bit more experienced when her time comes. Huh. Now she's just got to go say hi to everybody. Yeah, I think I'll leave her to it. I'll go put the barrier up just to be safe. Oh, hi, Faye. What do you want? Hmm? I could have you have a bit of free run with your brother and, and Summer. I used to be with them, but it's been a long time ago. Could be some fights, I better not risk it. You're just the best. You're just the best. Down you go. Yeah, I need to get actually top up her food and her porridge. Gotta make sure there's always lots of food available that's good for little elderly mice. Baby sounds. <laughs> yes, baby sounds. Over here, Archie. You're having fun with your free run, aren't you? I know how you managed to get in there. Can you help, help getting down? There you go. I like to run up. Archie's favorite thing is free run. Hi, Finnegan. You've become a dad. Yeah. You've become a dad. I know. Once um, Archie's had a few hours of running around, then I let this little guy out. It's hard being an unmuted male, so if they can have as much free run as possible, that really helps things. <laughs> but I'm going to let him out. If he gets anywhere near Archie, they'll be like the biggest fight ever. Yep. Okay, Finn. I'm going to put you back. Here you go. Oh, hi Caleb. Hello. You want something too, do you? Okay, just hang on. Caleb. Caleb, here you go. You guys booted out your little carpet. It's weird. They quite often will take the carpet out of there, which is, always seems odd to me. I think it would be nicer with the carpet. They have a different opinion. Well, Caleb is doing awesome. He loves his girls, he's healthy, life is good. 
And on top of it all, he gets to have the really large mastery, whilst the others um, are dealing with babies in the smaller one. And they'll soon I'll be able to put them back here again. But I have to wait probably about a week, and then I know that uh, Nola will be a little safe. I can trust her a bit more when she has her visits. And my guess is that Glory won't want to come out anymore, because now she's had her litter, and they all consume all her, her time. And she won't have a craving to get out and be with Finnegan anymore because now she's got her babies. And his girls, you always see them. He has the two Percy's, and then he also has Heidi and Harriet. But they're very, very shy. I don't know why, because neither one of their parents is hugely shy, but they turned out very shy, so they're hiding in here somewhere. And how's Enola doing? Don't see her. No squeaks. I suspect everything is just fine. Yep, I remember her. And she can be part of the community for about an hour or so. And I'll put her back. And these guys get to run around on the table for a bit. A little bit of exercise for elderly girls and boys. And this little one is kind of chunky, so a little more exercise good for her. <laughs>